film adaptation is a proper art form. Many times we have seen our darlings murdered on the big screen. Today we are going to discuss three films that are equally good as their book sources. We'll get to know the master creators behind these masterpieces. Without wasting any time, let's jump into the discussion. The first film in the series is The Shawshank Redemption. This 1994 film is adapted by Frank Darabont from Stephen King novella Rita Hayworth and The Shawshank Redemption. It is a cult classic film that many people don't know is highly loyal to the book source. It is one of the most watched films in English language that has IMDb ranking of 9.3 and it is a testament to the greatness of the film. Frank Darabont weaved the story like magic into a cinematic masterpiece. Even Stephen King was surprised by the cinematic excellence created by Darabont. King was so impressed by the film that the, that he, the published screenplay of the film's, film comes with an essay by the writer titled Rita Hayworth and the Darabont Redemption. The second film in line is the perks of being a wallflower. The director of the film, Stephen Chosky, adopted his own book of the same name. Even though the director wrote the book in four months, it took, him a, it took him a year to write the screenplay for the film. Stephen waited for many years before he decided to direct the film him, himself. One can see the care taken by the author to imagine the characters like Patrick on screen. He once said, I could not let it go. I don't know how to sell something this personal. I owed the fans a movie that was worthy of their love for the book. The last film for this episode is No Country for Old Man. It is an adaptation of a novel by Cormac McCarthy. This 2007 film by Joel Coyne and Ethan Coyne is a page for page kind of adaptation. One thing that many people don't know is it was the first adaptation by the coins. Joel Coyne said it was a straightforward problem from our point of view. How do you turn that into a movie? When Even when McCarthy published his book, he received a lot of criticism for his book. Critics said the book reads like a screenplay. Eventually, the film got four Academy Awards, including the Best Picture and Best Director. And after 16 years since its release, the film is a, fan, is a fan favorite. It is a good case study on the process of film adaptation. The film remains the best adaptation of McCarthy book. I hope you liked the video. Please stay connected for more videos like this.